So because this is 100%, we will need to collect, um, right, all 20 hearts, all the treasure charts, all the items you would regularly need to beat the randomizer, you know, all the extra inventory items, the tingle tuner, the telescope, stuff like that, uh, the hurricane spin is required. So it's going to be a long race. I would be surprised if I don't end up checking everything. <laughs> Just because, like, you know, heart pieces are not progression items, so they can even be in the worst junk spots. Heroes <laughs> will be vanilla. That would be good. Yeah, we do have to get all five Tingle statues as well. I mean, that's required for getting one of the checks anyway. But yes, all... Well, actually, I guess the Tingle statues themselves aren't required. Because that's not a part of the regular 100% speedrun. I don't know if it's possible for this to be a baby seed because of how much you have to do. Also, thank you for the five months of Tier 1 Tyla Kosix. Actually, wait, I, I don't think I pronounced that correctly. But thank you for the five months. Uh, okay. Well, with that, I hope you guys enjoy the race. Have fun. And, um... Yeah, I will now be closing chat, and I will be readying up on the race time that we have set up. So, see you guys in hopefully less than eight hours. Bye-bye. Okay, chat is now off. We are recording. We have the tracker up. I am readied up. So now we're just waiting for Linkus to ready up. But yeah, so the most important item to find early, once again, in a seed like this is uh, the wallet, because the wallet is very important for not wasting any of the big rupee amounts that we find. So hopefully uh, the wallet will be in a early location. <laughs> Whew. Also, to those watching the recording, yes, I am sick, unfortunately. Um, so I will have to make sure to drink lots of water. <sighs> Hopefully there are no random technical issues during the stream that I, like, don't realize about. That wouldn't be good. Uh, let's see. I think on what island we start on, we might. Actually, in, in most cases, I'll probably just go to Windfall, like, immediately. I think. Because hmm. Wind Windfall has 17 things that we can do right away, which is a bit ridiculous. Um, we also don't have any of like the newer settings, so there's no there's no chest sizes matches or chest types matches contents, which wouldn't really help anyway, because we still have to collect heart pieces and heart containers. Um, we're also not using any hints. So we're not going to know what any of the locations are beforehand. Well, Linka said he wanted to start three minutes ago, but... Oh, he wants... Oh, he wants to do a... He does want a squad stream. Okay. I guess we'll just do that then. Uh, start squad stream. Uh, Linkus 7. Okay. Uh, 
Um, okay, I guess the, the squad stream has started, whatever that means. <laughs> I actually don't know what a squad stream actually looks like, so... I hope the squad stream experience is good. Okay, seems like we might actually be starting now. Only, like, an hour after we said we were going to start <laughs> to each other. Oof. <laughs> Ugh. Jim Sniffle. I need more water. Okay, Linkus has actually readied up. So, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and go. All right, who is excited for the next eight hours of checking things? Uh, okay, I guess we'll go to Angular from here since there's a check there. Can't really do much on Ice Ring uh, at the beginning of the game. And once again, there's no hints, so we're not going to be talking to the King of Red Lions or uh, anything here. This raft does not have anything. And once again, chess size matches contents is not on, so we don't have to, like, check chests beforehand to see if they actually contain anything. We're also not starting with any items that includes a sword, so... Uh, yeah. Ouch. First bonk of what will likely be many. Ow, oh, nice green choo-choo. A nice skull necklace. Alright, um... I guess we'll go this way. There's a raft here that I can get a chest on. 
I'm mostly just going over here because it's like, this is where I spawned at the uh, beginning of the seed. And here's the wraps. And then we'll go to five star as well. We did turn on randomized enemy color palettes, so the enemy colors are gonna look very wonky. Oh, that's a really early Triforce shard, okay. Maybe this is a precursor that something good is in uh, Ganon's tower. In the maze chest. All right, well. Only 303 more locations to go. Let's see, um, we'll go get the chest first and then go to the raft. Or not the raft, and then go to the submarine since that'll make getting back into the King of Red Lions easier. Since he'll spawn outside in a nice position. Thankfully, the keys don't matter for this, for some reason. <laughs> wow, why are you still alive? Took a bit, but it is possible to do this with no sword. Thankfully, I did not get hit right there. A green chew jelly. Now we're finding things. I think that's the only green chew jelly in the entire item pool. So we did find a very unique item. <coughs> Cough. Um, not that one. Let's see, we could break logic and go get um, some stuff over here before making our way over to Windfall. There is one Sphere Zero location here. Which is the chest inside of Cliff Plateau. Er, wait a minute. Check the tracker. Oh no, it's the lookout platform. Oh yeah, I guess... Right, okay, never mind. Let's just get the lookout platform and then dip. not get owned. One tingle statue. Ouch. And unfortunately we did not really find much that was useful. I mean we found the Triforce Shard but that doesn't really give us anything. That's just something we have to collect anyway. Now it's nighttime, I guess. Okay, well, I guess I'll do some of the nighttime stuff. Oh, wait, maybe. Well, no, I guess I can still do this. Uh, storing and pressing this switch will skip the cutscene that normally plays here, since I don't need the windmill to actually turn 
right now. I guess now the windmill just turns anyway. Okay. Ouch. Ah, okay. let's not risk getting a scene by Mila. I also wanted to store the door to um, Maggie's house, but probably would have risked being seen by Mila, which would not be very good. Alright, let's see. Um, Mila, follow the thief. Dragon Roost Cavern Compass. What a useful item this is. And now we get the Maggie free item. And then the chest down here. Got a piece of heart. Only 43 more of those to go. And another shard. Yeah. Sure, we don't accidentally talk to Zunari since we don't actually have enough money to do the auction right now. Alright, I should probably mark that I have a Tingle statue. Probably don't really need to collect three standing blue rupees, but. First chest, second chest, and maze chest. Or not chest, first check. First gift, I guess, from Tingle. Chart one. We also randomized uh, which islands the treasure shards take us to, so. Oh, delivery bag. That is an actual item which can do things. <laughs> so that's nice. do things I mean it gets us one more check right now that we otherwise would not be able to get. Oh, a second Tingle statue. Already two Tingle statues. I wonder what Ankle must have. I'm just gonna do the pirate ship and talk to Todd right now. Then we'll save warp again and make it daytime. And then we still have the killer bees. Um, oh right, we can decorate the town also. Should probably initially use my money to decorate the town. Um, if possible. Since that would... Well, I guess I don't really need to do that until 
Oh, oops, right, there's no kid back there. I don't really need to do that until um, I have the Picto box. Because I was thinking about it combining it with, like what the 100% studio normally does, combining it with uh, Garrickson and Anton. Or at least 100% on HD does, I'm pretty sure. so sure about that one. Okay. And, okay, well, we got money. Alright, so I think now the plays we're gonna... Actually, I should probably just go use the money immediately. Just so I don't waste any new money that I might get. Which I believe means that it's time um, for Sploosh Kaboom. Everyone's favorite part. Alright, um... Not a great opening board. Very good. <laughs> Thankfully you can retry pretty quickly, because the text is really fast in Randomizer. Okay, we got rid of the dumb one. Unfortunately, we could not find any of the other ones, because they were probably... Yeah, on the outside. I uh, couldn't have been a freak. Yeah, it wouldn't have really helped. Alright, try again. Okay. Okay. No. Ah, rip. <laughs> Classic sploosh kaboom. Oh, okay, this is looking good. I played that in, like, the worst possible way, just coincidentally. Unfortunate. Uh, getting two shots like that immediately. Alright, did we get it? No. Oh, my goodness. Game, why must you do this? I just want to hit the squids. <laughs> okay, very good. I just feel like... Of the boards that I've played so far, there's... Okay, at least we won one. Of the boards I've played so far, there's always a horizontal one in the top right, it seems. Okay, treasure chart 26. And right, that's it. Okay. Now for the tough one, though. Really? I almost completely surrounded the two. Mm, 
I like how they made the Sploosh Kaboom board, like, the perfect size to troll you. Okay. Okay. Oh. Alright, we did it. Sploosh Kaboom is done. And had another treasure chart. So, I mean, like, we had to do it anyway. A fill up coupon. Okay, well, that wasn't necessary. You did have to at least win twice. I'm gonna go get door storage so that we can get the two Lenzo's house checks early. I have to remember that the coral text is but a single text box, so... I do not want to pull out the Wind Waker early to, like, advance the text. Thanks to door storage, we can kind of just run through walls. <laughs> Pretty useful glitch in the rare instance that you get to use it. Hopefully, yeah, uh, we don't fall through the floor here, which can sometimes happen with uh, door storage. for what we actually want to do. Actually, is this possible with no sword? I'm not actually sure. I might have to come at it from a different angle. Yeah, we definitely can't I don't think we can jump up there like that. I'll have to go, like, around here. Yep. Or something. it should be possible to climb the edge of this house. I don't know, maybe I'm just wasting time by trying to do this. Probably is not going to be anything particularly useful in uh, Lenzo's house, if I had to guess. Surprised it's not like feasible to just climb up the side here based on like what it looks like. Yeah. Well, unfortunate. Try one more time though. I feel like I remember it being possible to do this somehow. I mean, I guess... Maybe it's possible to jump from the tree? Yep. 
Oh, okay, yep, we made it up. This is good. Okay. They made it. <laughs> All for these two chests, which apparently we're just gonna roll past. Yeah. The red shoe jelly. Uh, oh, Moblin's letter. That's actually something we can go give to Maggie now. Uh, we'll do it after we find... After we catch Ivan, I guess, because we know where he is. Knight's Crest. And a piece of heart. I would still like to find, like, an actual item <laughs> in, like, over 20 minutes. Save warp out of here. Unless we get a bunch of money, then we'll do auction. Oh, oh wow, v vanilla's Maggie's letter. Okay. Nice mail chain. I guess that's not vanilla Maggie's letter. Vanilla would be if. Um, Vanilla would be if the, the free item was Maggie's litter. Let's see, uh, I don't collect any rupees till after this. I want to have at least 65 rupees so that I can go to Great Fish and buy, um, trade for the flower to get the Zunari check, and then, um, also buy whatever beetles uh, item is that we haven't checked yet. Little does Maggie's father know, we already gave her the letter. Okay, so that did get us an item, ultimately. Not one that's particularly useful right now, but... Um, yeah, so we'll come back here later. first here. Get the chest and then sail down to uh, Palm Prince.
Yeah, well, there's the rest of our money that we needed, I guess. So now, I think we can also do the platform here. Yeah. Platform here requires no items, since we can just throw pots at all the enemies, as one does in Wind Waker. to um, open up any of the treasure shards until... Where did Beetle go? Until I actually get the um, grappling hook, because it's not going to matter until then. I'd rather just open them up all at once. A Knight's Crest. Alright, sure, we'll buy it. One less Knight's Crest we have to find. We missed the red rupee. How did that happen? Oh, well. Was not hugely important. Hi. Okay, in we go. Classic Choo Choo Cave chest, and then we're also gonna get past the boulder on the left to get the chest that's behind it. And the purple ruby. The iron boots really don't help with anything right now. Not until I have uh, skull hammer or a bunch of other things. Um, okay, we're gonna go to Great Fish and trade the flower. Go to Spectacle. Hmm. Spend these hundred rupees right now. Though I do feel compelled to go back and, um, get Zunari's check since delivery bag might be like the only thing that opens up more stuff here. Since it's the only logical item I've found so far, it actually opens up more stuff. down all the flowers. 
At least with how much money I currently have. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is like not the best order for placing them, but well. At least you can buy them really fast. Uh, no. I don't think they have to all be the same either. so muted right now. At least, like, specifically the Windfall Island music. So yeah, we'll need 30 more rupees. Oh, okay, that helps. <laughs> Nice rupee RNG, actually. And up we go. Now just three more. those flowers is really awkward because you have to press X, Y, or Z to uh, open up the delivery bag in the menu. Alright, Sam. Give me something good. Okay, it should chart five. be stealing this plant. Thank you. Uh, we don't really have enough money to do the auction, so we'll go other places currently. Like Northern Ferry Island. So currently the only thing left on Windfall is the auction, so... <coughs> well, let's save that for later as I drink more water. Question is, when will we get an actual item? Great fairy, and then we'll get the submarine after this. <laughs> and I think on Star Island we can get the platform. Without too much trouble. Another skull necklace. to the submarine where we get to skip all the enemies. Oh, 
and then we'll go to Star Isle, and then I guess we'll check Mother and Child Isles. Get the chest that's in there. This way, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the lookout platform. Yeah, okay. I believe this chest will just be out in the open. Surprisingly, we have not found money that's really been wasted yet. All things considered. We'll go to the outset actually. And go get the two platform chests on horseshoe. Oh, okay, there's money. Never mind, we're going to spectacle now so we can spend the money. Not waste any money, ideally. I mean, you know, presumably we will not fail this mini game since you get a lot of extra shots for uh, this mini game to align yourself. Sleep during the night. Yeah, this looks really close. Looks slightly farther away. I want to say this is thirty. This is 35. Okay. This is 45? Maybe? Oh, 40. Right. One missed shot. Telescope. Now well, that item will make some people happy. This be looking like a thirty-five. This. This is looking like a 50, honestly. Because in this minigame, um, a 50 degree shot goes further than a 45 degree shot. As we all know, this is how physics works. And Tingle's chart. Well, great, now I can make the honk honk noise. Um, I guess... 
Yeah, we'll go down to Rock Spire. Um, yes, we don't really need to see what items are in. Beetle's Rock Spire Shop, because the game will basically tell us once we get a wallet upgrade. Center Lookout Platform. More treasure charts. There's gotta be an item somewhere, though, that actually allows us to progress somewhere. Granted, there are 23 more locations that are currently open, so it might be a while before we find that item. And climbs the very tall that I can do some more platform stuff. Because Boomerang, at least in the randomizer, the Boomerang is capable of knocking out the cannons around uh, platforms. chest and then use chest storage to go get the one in the cave over there. since we could have skipped to that with chest storage anyway. And 
now we get to go and sort some mail. Kind of long check. Got more than thirty, though, so not too bad. Now we have to do this a couple more times. this time. Good thing we got it on the last one, because this is where we get the most money from. Hello, Baito. We don't get any money for this one, so as long as we get, like, the 25 or whatever that we need, um, we're good. Okay, this check is finally over. <laughs> Thank you for the treasure chart. Uh, we should also go and check the one chest that we can get in Dragon Roost Cavern right now. Just in case it has something. Progress through Dragon Roost Cavern, we need at least one more small key, which we do not have. Oh, wait, I forgot the pot. Just could be important, so. Oh, interesting. Again, not immediately useful, but. An item that we do need for, you know, the 100% definition. <laughs> The, uh, 
it. I only need one highway pair because I can just use it uh, as many times as I want, basically. Actually, it's go worth. Mm, actually, no, let's... I want to go back to Windfall to do the auction right now. Just because we have the money. Check to see what uh, all the auction items are. Need that one. That's good. Oh, the bow for five rupees. Must be a cheat bow. All right, well, I'll be just as fast as possible. A little bit up to seventeen. Then one of them will bid up to 20. Hopefully they don't chain together. Yeah, now we can bid 30. And then 45. For some reason, I like forgot if that actually restuns them or not, but it does. That's enough money for the 40 rupee auction item, but not the 60 rupee one. More pots. Oh, nice. Apparently I've rigged the RNG of that pot to just always be in my favor. That should be enough for the 60 rupee one. So we do need Treasure Shark, too. So we'll just get it now, I guess. And for 69 rupees, very nice. And then make sure I say that I have the bow. Eighty-six. And then after eighty-six, it'll be ninety-four, one hundred three, and then one fourteen. Yeah, well, 
Yeah, once it hits 10 seconds left, I'll just do uh, 112. Okay. Using money efficiently. And then I'll keep going in and out until we actually get the 40 rupee item, just to see what it is. I'd rather know what it is than guessing and have to come back later or not. I don't think the bow immediately opens up anything though, so... Actually, no, I guess it opens up a submarine, which is technically something. This is the 80 rupee item again. Show me that 40 rupee item. Triple rupee again. Okay, so you see, I understand Zunara here, and he he's essentially selling 50 rupees for at least 80 rupees. Like, this... Somehow this man has figured out how to really scam people and make money, so I understand why he really wants to push the purple rupee. Okay. Don't immediately need the command melody, so thankfully we will just come back for that later. Um, let's go back to Crescent Moon. Yeah. Now we, because now we can do um, uh, the submarine here. So we've almost reached the one hour mark already. And we don't have a sword, oh boy. Oh wait, did I? Right, I forgot that I stored that chest and then just never checked to see what I got, if anything. But it doesn't look like I got anything. The chest back on Dragon Roost, that is. So it was, it was probably like a spoil or something. If it was a ruby, I would have heard the ruby sound, which I don't remember hearing. So. submarine is entirely time-based, so we can just wait here. So it gives me an opportunity to eat a cookie, I guess. to acquire some items. Ah, uh, no, let me go the other way. Hmm. Let's see, so we can do the entire set of platforms here. As long as we make sure we don't run into the big octo, which we shouldn't, because it should be like over there somewhere. This is 
three checks. Very convenient of them to spawn close by. The Dragon Roost Cavern Big Key. The hook shot. All right, that's that is actually a nice item to get because that means that we can now use the hook shot to our movement advantage. Um, actually, I guess we'll go this way. We'll go to the flight control platform submarine, and then I guess. Um, Actually, I'd rather go up there. We can't do flight control platform now because I don't have bombs or like leaf and double magic. which is the important part. Also, a nice pink choo-choos. Triforce chart four. The first Triforce chart. See, we could go back to Windfall now. Um... Just to, like, purely make sure that we're not wasting this money. I think that's what we'll do, actually. And we'll go get our command melody, which we need anyway. I guess technically I could also use door storage to get the first chest in Wind Temple, but... That seems like it would probably end up being a waste. Seven to fifty one, fifty one to fifty six, to sixty one to sixty seven, seventy three. I mean, nobody did that, but my Neko decided to get in the bid before us. Oh, no. 
I'll just bid to 79. We're gonna undoubtedly get more money anyway. Command melody for us. And that's all we can do here. Oh no, I can. Mm -mm. Yep. If actually, I guess that's it's not that bad. It's not gonna have. Let's go to paw print for the Wizrobe Cave. For some reason I was thinking about the Shark Isle Cave. I was thinking about what was inside here. This is most assuredly the Wizrobe Cave. Make sure I don't waste any arrows here. Oh wait, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. Yeah, because I don't have the arrow count necessary. Alright, never mind. <laughs> Bad idea. Probably should go to outset at some point. Let's see, what is this? Destroy the cannons and enemies. Oh boy. Fancy check we have here. Wasting of the money begin. So here at Six Eye Reef. Alright, and the platform as well. This is just destroy the cannons, okay. Oh no. The cannons are going to make this difficult. We do not have the leaf yet, otherwise we'd be able to um, 
get past all these submarines pretty quickly. Ow. Uh, right. Ouch. I got owned. Actually, I can collect some skull necklaces. And arrow refills, which is important. Oh my goodness. No. Oh, bad moblin. Actually, I'll take that skill necklace too. And then we'll have five. More importantly, though, we'll also have full arrows. Ugh, more wasted money. No, I don't want to be wasting the money. Cyclops Reef um, platform. I think this one is just okay. This one's just defeat the enemies. finding all the money now. <laughs> this is precisely when I did not want to find any money. <laughs> so we can only do platform stuff here at Stonewasher. Which means we're basically ignoring Stonewasher for now. Actually, two chests up here, one out in the open and one that spawns right there, with that one in the vanilla game being a heart piece. Oh, darn it. I guess the boat angle wasn't quite good enough. checks that are available, and of course, two that are available are the, uh, Beetle Ship Shop ones. There's Temple Small Key. They're like the Beetle membership ones that take forever to do. Uh, Islet, yeah, Islet of Steel. They'll probably just get in here early. For uh, better 
because getting in here early isn't terribly difficult. Where's the platform? Okay, it's over there, yeah, so we'll get in here first. We just have to kind of wait for the other ships to shoot this one. Save warp out of here. Oh boy, I hope. I really hope the wallet is not somewhere dumb. Either of the wallet upgrades, for that matter, because there are two wallet upgrades one for 1,000 and the second one for 5,000. Tower of the Gods. We do need one of those, yes. Still no Dragon Roost Cavern small key, though. Okay, so this lookout platform is just defeat the enemies. I don't think this angle's good enough, yeah. And I need to get better at actually, like, Getting here with the correct angle to re grab the ladder. Time for this check. Using uh, the single highway pair we have, we're gonna dupe um, the highway pair. Actually, I should put it on some button that's not Z. I'm gonna dupe it. So using the same technique as Soup Glitch, we can press the pair on the same button that we pause the game and put a different item over the pair, and now the pair is still in our bait bag, which is useful. Let's see, if we had the fire arrows, this would actually be a lot easier. There's a special trick we can do with fire arrows to hit this switch a lot faster and a lot easier, and without the need of the bait bag. A Wind Temple small key. And I guess we're going on our small key world tour here. A small key for every dungeon except Dragon Roost Cavern. Also, a nice accidental Wind Waker pull. Let us see what Diamond Step has to offer. Hopefully something useful. A sword would be nice at some point. Actually, we might have still been close enough, but sometimes the reticle doesn't quite correctly display if you're close enough to something or not. We don't have bombs, so we can't do the bomb push clip here. Yeah. 
Nice green floor masters. one first and then come back to get this one. Ooh, that's very good. And actually helpful right now. is a very useful item, so I'm glad that we were able to find that. Also, there's no collision on that corner for some reason, so we can just kind of do this. Okay. This means I can also... I can't logically get into Forbidden Woods, but like, it, it wouldn't be difficult to get into Forbidden Woods. Oh, this is actually also right in time for uh, playing golf here. Actually, I wonder... Would it be useful to actually get a hint? It might be. Using, using these really old hints that, like, nobody usually goes for. Eh, probably not. I'll then use some bait on the one over here. What that told me is that Thorn Fairy Island has a treasure chart. Big news. treasure chart on Windfall Island. Who could have guessed? Yeah. Ouch. That was a mean sea hat. skip because, you know, it would be slow to do. <laughs> Chilling at the top of Horseshoe over here. Hmm, maybe I should break that orb. Though I don't think it'll have any arrows inside of it. I don't think Mothilas drop arrows. Ooh, okay, the hurricane spin. At least I didn't get baited into thinking I found a sword. Oh no, they do have arrows. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Because the wind direction is probably bad, we'll use hookshot to get over here. For a blue rupee. Actually, maybe I should be doing the Goron trading quest. Spend my rupees. 
because it, 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 it is in logic right now, also, technically. Back to Bomb Isle. I don't trust this angle. <laughs> Leave me alone, Cargo Rocks. Not Din's Pearl. Almost have everything we need to go to Tower of the Gods. Okay, Rory's Pearl. Okay, so we can now get into Tower of the Gods. That's, that's some pretty good item placement right there. Actually, well, like, we don't have bombs, so never mind. There's not a whole lot we can do there, now that I think about it. Um, actually, I guess we could clip out of bounds to get stuff, but that I'd, I'd rather just wait for bombs, I think. To be quite honest... I said I was going to do the Goron trading quest, and I have simply decided that we're not doing that, apparently. I should get, um, the page for the Goron trading quest up again. Oh, another shard. I remember the rough order, but not the exact one. I know we have to go to Bomb Island next. And then I think back to Greatfish, Mother and Child, and then back to Greatfish? Or something like that. Oh, Skullhammer. Yeah, apparently this was... Uh, apparently the, those platforms over there were our ticket to everything. Yeah, because, okay, because now I can actually do stuff in Wind Temple. Indeed. to Jaboon's Cave here. Is this Jaboon's Cave? Letter from Kamali's father. Okay. And fire and ice arrows, oh my goodness. Outset is loaded. Why didn't I come here earlier? <laughs> Oh, I guess actually, well, Skullhammer was the mail check. Skullhammer wasn't uh, really part of Outset. I just happened to get it here. I guess if we really wanted to push the out of logic stuff, we could go to Wind Temple. The only thing we know about Wind Temple is that there can't be both progressive. Um, We can't have both of the progressive ecto boxes there. So this is actually the only reef we can do right now. Because this is the only one which does not have, uh, 
battleships. I, mean, I don't know what the boomerang was targeting there, but sure. Because battleships you can't defeat with the boomerang, of course. Pretty good item haul for only an hour and a half. The only two, like, really key items that we're missing now, um, I would say are bombs and a sword. I guess also grappling hook would be good. Actually, grappling hook is probably more of a key item than the sword is right now. I can also get into, uh, um, what's it called? I can get into Shark Isle now. So we should probably push that too. Wait, is this... Okay, it's just a lookout platform. I don't remember if something was required here or not. <laughs> I also didn't use the hookshot like I was supposed to. Oh well. Statue number three. Oh nice. Just landed directly in there. Okay. Um I'm gonna go to Bomb Isle to spend some rupees. So that we can potentially not waste as many. two things first for routing purposes. This one is just defeat the enemies. Chair strats. Oops. Really? No. Trying to get this guy's sword away. Not really working though. Unfortunately, without the grapple hook, we can't... 
like, easily collect, you know, joy pendants or, like, other kinds of spoils without kind of just, like, wasting uh, a bunch of money. Or wasting, like, time later having to go back and collect a lot of them. Okay, so... Hero's Flag... Or, not Hero's Flag. Well, Moon Flag. Doesn't seem correct, but... Oh no, this is correct. And then Mother and Child Isles for the big sail flag afterwards. Um, okay, I'm gonna go back to Outset. I'm gonna... I guess I could have gone the other way, but oh well. We actually get to use the telescope for once. This is exciting. Because there's a check that we can actually see up at the top of a uh, headstone over here. Oh, and the, the submarine first. Though. The really annoying submarine where I'm going to have to waste all my arrows. That's what this submarine is. actually. Then going through the submarine again. Yeah, actually, maybe not. Okay, now we get to use the telescope. I can't see what that is. It kind of just looks like a chart. Yeah, that's a trick of sharp, so we'll go collect that. Now here we can actually get the big octo. Um, let's use the boomerang for it. As this big octo releases a great fairy, which we can then... Uh, which will then just give us an item without us having to salvage anything up.
nice pink texture on the big octos, though. And there's also a lookout platform here. I wait, I think this fairy gives us a hint. It says. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that's a more recent thing. Or maybe it's after this. Oh, the ghost ship chart. Uh, island... Oh, I'm pretty sure that was just... That was just the, the piece of the Triforce that we found earlier. But maybe we can go back there now. We do have... Or I guess it could be the sunken treasure. But... Me guesses... Um, okay. probably the Triforce. Uh, sure. Alright, um, guess this was not the best way of going about this. Right, so we're gonna go to Shark Isle next. Do the stuff there. We can also get Cyclos along the way there, which has been in logic forever, so it'll be good to do that at some point. Yeah, so far in total, the uh, the second hour of this randomizer is looking pretty good. Trading reward is in logic, <laughs> despite how long it takes. Let's see, so next I need to go to Mother and Child. I should have just looked up the speedrunner out. This cave is kind of long, but it is a combat cave, so... Really? 
the prize that got me. Copeland has the Dark Note Sword. This isn't good. Quickly, get a new weapon. wasn't even required, but it was probably good for farming spoil stuff, so we'll go with it. Ouch. Onwards. To the fairy fountain over here and the lookout platforms, and then over to Icewind. Seems to be what the plan is. Maybe I should have been collecting blue shoe gently. idea. As there is that one check for uh, collecting 15 blue chew jelly. The Tingle Tuner. Oh boy. I love the Tingle Tuner. I'm not surprised we also, or like, we haven't found a bottle of any kind yet. I'm pretty sure this one is destroy the cannons, which we can do from down below. kind of facing the wrong direction, so we'll change that. <coughs> Ouch. 
Luckily, I do not get sniped out of the air here. That was very close. Force charge five. Chart 34. I want another cookie. Except the sunken treasure, which is good enough for me. need to get closer to each other. Oh, nice sliding animation. No! Why? <laughs> oh, boy. That's, that's good. Wait, now I don't think I have enough magic for this. Yeah. Well, okay, so I can do I can do two of them. I should be able to break um Here? Actually, no, these orbs don't drop magic. Drop arrows. There's more magic in this pot. Dark nut orbs don't have magic. Is there magic in this pot? Okay, fine. I will save warp. And go back into the island to get this one chest, which I bet is not even going to be required. Thankfully in Randomizer, Save Warping uh, does give you your magic back.
just, I was trying to get away. This isn't required. Of course it wasn't. Ah, oh, randomizer. Alright, well, onwards to the voting course, I guess. approach the two hour mark. I can confidently say that hour two is much better than hour one. As far as finding items goes. Let's see what hour three has to offer to us. I think we can probably go up the eastern side of the ocean. Yes, this one is destroy the cannons also. Still not having the grappling hook isn't great for routing purposes, but... Not a whole lot I can do about that until I find it. I wonder how many treasure charts we found so far. I think we found five Triforce charts. Uh, which is pretty good. I can also now, like, actually get the checks here at the plateau without having to guess what they are using storage. Though I might still store the top one anyway, just so it's a lot easier to get into Bird's Peak. Actually... Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go do more of the Goron trading stuff. See, Fountain Idol... 
You want the big sail flag next. Flag. So then go back to Great Fish and trade for the Postman statue. And then go back to Mother and Child and trade for. Um, the Shop Guru statue, which then gets us the heart piece. chest <coughs> while I go here. Oh, and I guess the ghost ship's here also. Postman statue? I don't think so. Oh. Um. Well, maybe there's more money in the chest. <laughs> Chart six. Alright, well, let's let's go over to the ghost ship because the ghost ship will have money. <laughs> Spoils bag. Wrong ship, but okay. Ah, nice to turn to the exact wrong direction. Guy. Exchange for the postman statue. And the shop guru statue will be 200 rupees, so I have to wait for a full wallet again anyway. Ah, 
Okay, next uh, we shall go to Needle Rock. We get the one check we can now get here. <laughs> Uh, inside the cave, which requires fire and ice arrows. Uh, oh, that's interesting. I'm surprised 15 blue chew jelly is in logic, but not 13. Or, but not 15 green chew jelly. I feel like there's probably a blue chew jelly on this island somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Dang, that's two. <laughs> Only 13 more to go. Also, a nice miss. Doesn't really matter because we get free refills of arrows and magic here at the end. Of the day. All right. I was trying to do quick spins with the sword that I don't have. How have we gone almost two, or have we gone like, we don't even have five hearts yet, somehow. I don't know how this is possible. After checking almost a third of the locations in the game. Um, okay, since it's in logic, we'll go back to Windfall and give Miss Mary a joy pendant. So maybe after this we'll go to Wind Temple. So we should be able to do everything in there. These two checks. Alright, a sword. <laughs> I was like, yes, it is time to jump slash, except no, because no sword. Yep. 
Right, let's see. If I didn't have iron boots. Okay, it's just those locations in Wind Temple. Right, so even though we only have one Wind Temple small key, we can still do the whole thing. Um, because of the fact that we can skip using the first one pretty easily. And we did get Iron Boots out of logic, so if something good is here, this might end up paying off. I won't be able to get the Tingle Chest, though, so we'll have to come back for that later. If I can open up the shortcut warp between the dungeons, then uh, I should be able to get back here without much of an issue. Nice pink stealth rose. Like, speed up these first few rooms. But... Oh, nice green fire keys. Go in and out of the room, and Makar is just here, chilling, waiting for us. Nice if I had the grapple hook to farm golden feathers right now. Not a treasure chart. Maybe Wind Temple is just full of treasure charts. further into the dungeon. Thank you. Another treasure shard. Oh boy. I guess in one sense, everything we've collected in Wind Temple so far has been required for category completion of 100%. And getting the Wind God's Aria was pretty nice, actually. So that I didn't have to do the weird out-of-bounds clip here. <clears throat> That's 
Let's see, I don't have a sword, so... Temple Compass, actually inside the dungeon. Isn't that something? Ah, point magic. Rupees. A singular rupee. See if I can make it to the chest just this much. I don't think I'd be able to, but maybe up here. Oh my goodness, the wallet. Bless. Alright, it was a very good decision to come into Wind Temple now, even if the rest of Wind Temple is useless. Excellent. We won't be wasting tons of rupees, even if we find a lot. One of the wallet upgrades is locked by, um... Something. Magic. One of the wallet upgrades, the, the one that we got specifically, is locked by the Picto Box. I think grass using the skull hammer is extremely awkward. <laughs> Seriously. Right, well. At least the... 
War Masters have not come up yet. Actually, these should be green shoes. Maybe... I want to get rid of them. Oh, no, these are red shoes. The red shoe jelly is not necessary. I figured I was probably going to fall down here. Oh, those are the green ones. The green ones are like actually green. Beetle's chart, which we don't actually need because we don't count special charts at 100% for speedrunning this game. They're like, Psh. okay. Well, an attempt was made. Using a roll clip can pretty easily get in here. We will be making heavy use of the bow in this mini boss fight. drop in there. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. I have to kill these guys with the skull hammer too, don't I? bad as I thought it was going to be, thankfully. It's important to note that we do not have the Wind Temple boss key, so I'll probably have to store the... Hey, mirror shield. Probably have to store the, uh... The chest in the kill all enemies in tall basement room. Oh, 
much money here. Mirror Shield does not open up a lot right away, but obviously good for whenever we find power bracelets to get into Earth Temple. So I'll wait here a cycle for uh, the fam. Make sure that we do not get owned. Very useful here. So I need to get storage now, except I need to get it... Um, ...on top of this door frame, basically. Which is what's gonna make it a little painful. Okay, I guess it wasn't painful, never mind. But I do not feel like finding the Wind Temple boss key, so we are simply going to do this. shouldn't die here, so I'm not going to open up the warp pod. And kill all enemies had, like, a purple rupee, I think? Something like that. Alright. Oh, to use the boomerang. The boomerang is actually like pretty good for this, speed-wise. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that was too vertical of an angle. I couldn't aim up that high. Oh no, oh, the babies are gonna get in the way. Maybe? Okay. Thankfully they were far enough off screen. Gera is dead. And with the exception of the Tingle Chest, we've gone through all of them. <sighs> Weirdly enough, I guess... Okay, purple review. There wasn't actually anything... Un unless this wallet somehow locks the other wallet. We might not have been required to go to Wind Temple at all, actually. Which is kind of funny to think about. This could have just been a giant waste of time if the other wallet is somewhere else. Well, actually, no, we we needed the, the treasure charts that we got here. So not a waste of time. Uh, all right, let's go finish the Goron trading quest and also decipher some uh, Triforce charts. I guess to say for a Triforce chart. Wait, so we have Postman statue. Right, okay, so we want to go to Mother and Child now. For uh, the Shop Guru statue is the boomerang. Oh yeah, and we can see what's in uh, the Rock Spire Shop. Maybe we'll want what's in the Rock Spire Shop instead. Uh, a Triforce Shard and a Treasure Shard, okay. So not something, not things we immediately need, so we can just kind of save them for later. Become readable. <laughs> also don't have quite enough money uh, here. Where's the blue choo-choo? I know there's a blue choo-choo around here somewhere. Ah, not the hookshot. Shouldn't run into the Big Octo, because I'm pretty sure the Big Octo is more north of here. that one we already got, so we're not going to be able to get another one there. Up Guru statue for 200 rupees. Also, nice lighting. <laughs> this lighting happens when a, like, a thunder strike happens uh, as you get an item. Time to finish the Goron trading quest. Yeah, 
There is your postman statue, sir. Or not postman statue, shop guru statue. Thank you for the treasure chart. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna do what I said I was gonna do a really long time ago and actually go up the eastern side of the ocean. After our detour into Wind Temple. <laughs> we're still missing bombs, sword, and grappling hook are like the big three items that we're missing for like being able to do anything, basically. going to store this chest so that I can get into uh, Bird's Peak Rock a lot faster. <coughs> and drink more. Now, Wind Temple actually is in logic. That gives us precisely one more check that we can do. There's four swords and four bottles somewhere. I'm pretty sure I didn't accidentally make this swordless, because I'm, I'm pretty sure I set it to no starting sword. If we did accidentally make it swordless, that would be hilarious, though. missing power bracelets. Otherwise we'd be able to get into Earth Temple. <laughs> this is just gonna give me a treasure chart because that was what the hint was earlier. <laughs> yep. 
Treasure chart seven. Platforms over here. Destroy the cannons. Okay, so this one's destroy the cannons, then the other one is defeat the enemies. This is not a very optimal way to do this, but I will. And then we'll save warp to get back to our boat faster from here. Nice. I guess we also haven't found any heart containers yet. Basically nothing. Ah. Ah, that's... That's Dragon Roost. Dragon Fire Mountain's over here. I just remembered, like, the fact that I stored the chest on Dragon Roost early on and was worried that, like, I somehow didn't check for it or something. Everything seems fine. Actually, maybe I should check the key bag. Big, big, big. Okay, no, that, that all seems correct. Destroy the cannons. And then there's just a chest here out in the open. Two chests right in a row. 
Ah, we finally have a dragon who's cavern small key. <laughs> Treasure chart 28. And now let us plunder Fire Mountain. I'll probably save Scum uh, the small key just to check some extra things. Actually, I guess if I get if I get two keys, I can check everything. I can open up doors backwards. It doesn't really matter that much then. I don't know if I want to wait till I get a second key though to check those other things. Oh wait, no, I I can't save scum in. Okay, never mind. I'll just go in and check stuff. Cave chest. <laughs> the keys got needed. I guess we'll go to Rock Spire. Do the destroy the cannon stuff. Are these all destroy the cannons? Yeah, so destroy the cannons. This is going to be a little bit difficult, probably, just because these wind gusts don't tend to like to behave all that well. Positions good. Good enough. Oh, first, or not try first. Treasure shard eight. With how fast this one moves, there's not really a way uh, I'd be able to get to it in time from the bottom, so I'll have to do it like this. Wait for it to come around. This one seems to move a lot slower. No! 
Oh my goodness. Well, an attempt was made. Now we have to wait again. It wouldn't have saved time to use the hookshot up here because I would have had to wait anyway. No, please, I need more height. No. Darn it. Let's try that again. It's just a little too late there. Sickly. Hopefully the cannons are still destroyed. They are not. Okay. Well. We're doing our best. Now we can go get the actual fairy fountain reward over here, since we have the skull hammer. <coughs> Lux Pictobox gives us a few more checks. Actually, what? Uh, oh, okay, perfect. It's full moon. That's very convenient. For uh, the full moon picture. Full Moon Picture, My Neko, Miss Windfall Photo, and Linda and Anton. And we can also become Lenzo's assistant. That takes a while, though. Question is still for me, when am I going to get the grappling hook? First shard eight. We got a lot of islands at this point, which are just like one or two checks. With all of them still having sunken treasure. Alright, um. We're gonna do the rest of this. I'm gonna go to Angular to get the one mirror shield check that's on the overworld. Also, I have ten Knight's Crests that I can give to Orca. Even I don't think it's in Logic. I think you, you technically need Grappling Hook for it to be in Logic, but it is a thing we can do. Yeah, 
Here we can do the fast strategy. Okay, treasure shark 13. I should go to Dragon first. No, we'll do this first. These two checks out of the way and then delete those photographs. Oh, power bracelets. Okay. Opens up a bunch of stuff. Or maybe the picture just wasn't good. Good, unfortunately. Hmm. Oh wait, I I have to become Lenzo's assistant before I do that. I'm pretty sure. Let's erase these. I think that's what the case here is, actually. case oops <laughs> safe. So basically for this quest we have to wait for um, Anton and Garrickson to make their rounds. Or 
around the island so that they walk to the spots where we want to take pictures of them. Erickson will be the first one appearing by the mailbox here. So, Power Bracelets gets us into Stone Watcher, into Savage Labyrinth, into Star Isle, one more check on Paw Print, one more check on Dragon Roost Island, Bomb Isle, and Eastern Fairy Isle. Oh, and the outset Big Pig. And Great Fairy. Yeah, maybe we should just go to Outset next, actually. Oasis, Bomb Island, Stonewasher. Our island. Oh, here he is. Of the scared guy. Oh, goodness. Why is it impossible to bonk here when you want to? Now that that waiting's over, let's finally go do this. Taken Fortress dungeon map. I'm surprised we haven't found more dungeon maps either. And now we can do this, I think. able to, it's in logic, but not either all of the pictures that I'm taking have just been bad or there's something that I'm forgetting here. Yeah, it should just be deluxe picture box. and Vera secret meeting photo. Treasure chart six. All right. Um. Let's let's 
go to Paw Prints. And we can do the Wizard Cave as well as get the one other check behind a rock that we couldn't get earlier. This has a useful item. Then, well, would have been nice to be able to do this earlier. just no sound. Which is kind of dumb. Tingle statue. Yeah, it seems like there's a chew jelly up here. I think it's just up in this one. Yeah. Would be silly if there was no blue chew jelly on Pawprint Island, which is basically all about the chew chews. to Eastern Ferry and then up to Dragon Roost and we'll complete as much of Dragon Roost as we can at the time being. Oops. This way. That is not... Uh, I'd also like to be able to get more arrows. Go buy some arrows from Beetle to rack up points for the Beetle rewards, I guess, as well. <coughs> Still have 176 locations remaining. Still have not found a grapple hook.
So a little less than a third of the remaining locations are all sunken treasure. What can we do on Dragon Roost? Oh, right, I already did that. And Secret Cave. Which we can actually do. Do the secret cave first. Ah! Now, this shouldn't be too. Oh, right, I wanted to get more arrows actually to shoot down the platform in Dragon Roost Cavern. Blatantly run out of arrows here anyway. Pretty sure this works. Yeah. Ah, really? Okay, let's try going through the right one this time. I guess we go to Overlook, because we should actually get uh, arrows there. And then we will come back here. This location has been in logic for a while, so it's just one that takes a while to actually go do. So it's a combat cave. Thankfully, there are bomb flowers in here, so we do not need bombs. Really? <laughs> Very good. Unfortunately, the same fire arrow trick doesn't work here.
The four dark nuts are gonna be fun to fight here. Unfortunately, I cannot farm joy pendants here. Did get a bunch more money though. Suppose we could go decipher another chart before entering Dragoner's Cavern. Oh, hello. I don't know how we turned around there. Oh, okay, more arrows. More arrows is always good. I'm, I'm not gonna do Orca hit 500 times, I'm gonna save that for the end, just in case I, like, absolutely need to do it. But based on the way things are looking, uh, I might have to end up doing it anyway. Actually, let's go get the Great Fairy first and then see if it works out. Now that we have the power bracelets. down these trees. I guess it kind of makes sense, but a little weird. So it's been three and a half hours. Where is my sword? <laughs> I want a sword. I mean, logically, even, I shouldn't have fire and ice arrows yet, because fire and ice arrows are locked behind bombs. Unless we can get the other bow upgrade with that bomb somehow, but I don't think that's really going to be the case here. can do the storage here to save like one second. Too early. We'll skip that. If we got storage there, it would have stored that cutscene.
And we can also check Savage Floors 30 and 50. Nice highway pair. I guess we'll check the Hint Stone there first. I'm not really sure I want to do Savage right now just because of my health. Only having six hearts and no bottles, so no fairy or anything. And also no sword, which is kind of annoying. But I'll t we still want to check to see what's down there. Nothing important on either of those floors, which is nice. If there is something important, the game will tell us in red text. Well, actually, okay, I guess there could be a piece of heart down there. For all we know. But nothing, like, immediately important. The randomizer should. Uh, oh, wait, does it not? Oh, okay, never mind then. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Orca, I don't have a sword. Talk to you. Okay, I guess we'll just say I, I, For some reason, I thought the game gave you a sword when you did this, but I guess not. I guess that. I think that's only in swordless mode, maybe. But that happens. Okay, so I, I can't do that actually. Alright, well, at least we can do the big piggy. Have some real fun here. So we're gonna put the pig here, then we're gonna lift it up again, or at least attempt to. Yeah, just like this. Now we're going to throw the big pig. It's going to go all the way over here. Hopefully he does not go all the way back into the water. Nope, pig, we need to lift you up. Vanilla. Well, nothing of note on outset, really. Actually, eh, well, first. Like, maybe I should go into Earth Temple, since Earth Temple is actually... Like, a, a decent amount of Earth Temple is actually in Logic right now. And I remembered that I have a small key for Dragon Roost Cavern. And I actually have arrows now. and our swords are, though. There has also been one check available in Tower of the Gods for like two hours at this point. Thank you. 
Couldn't tell if... I don't think that hit it, no. Okay, this is too far to the left. Part of the right there, it looked like. It's still too far to the right. I didn't hit it yet. Well, good thing I have a lot of extra arrows. <laughs> There we go, okay. Apparently I forgot what to look for. I remember this one. For this one, pretty sure. Yeah. Alright. Whew. Oh, double magic. That's nice. Unfortunately, not a bottle still, but... Still a nice thing to have. Golden Feather. I guess that puts Flight Control Platform into logic, though. get this chest. I can't get any of the other ones like on the outside or anything. Oh, nice dungeon map. No, it's... Go around the other way. It looks kind of weird. It's just an arrow coming out of his chest. Are you serious? Thought I would have enough time there. And now they're back. Perfect example of what not to do in this room. Ridiculously long amount of time to take to go through this room. Yep. 
And then I can't get the tingle chest in the hub room here. Decipher two charts. <laughs> so we're not going to come back to this room right now, at least until we have grappling. don't need anymore. <laughs> also, get the joy pendant here. And then we'll go get the mini boss check. All we know for certain is that this cannot be a dragon roost cavern spell key. I think it could be pretty much anything else. way of getting back here of all places. Yeah. I was trying to do a jump attack, but I guess I was still moving. I was still holding a control stick direction when I pressed the A button. Again. And then I guess we could go do flight control platform from here since that's like the one thing that we logically can now do. Uh, or that we got the ability to do from coming into Dragon Roost like this. Also, I should probably mark off the fact that I have the quiver upgrade. Get in, Link. All right, onwards. Birdman contest, first prize.
to kind of wing this. So I can get this one, but I don't think I will. Level rose up too much. The Q, or like the Q that I use for timing this involves slashing my sword, but I do not have a sword, so. We shall try that again. I think we should be good to make it to the end here. goes really high. Yeah. Do 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 do. Ah, oh, more bombs that I don't have. <laughs> Excellent. Still needed the upgrade, of course, because that's just another requirement of 100%, but it would be nice to be able to actually use the upgrade now that I've gotten it. Right, uh, I'm gonna go get the one thing that I can get in Tower of the Gods, which is hop across floating boxes. This has been in logic for like over two hours at this point. do a decent portion of the rest of Tower of the Gods, but I would need... Um, first, okay, first off, I need magic. <laughs> Actually, I, I guess maybe no, I don't, but... I think magic here is nice. swimming animation normally don't get to see Actually been a good idea to come in here. That logically gives me two extra checks in Earth Temple, which is nice. Maybe that's our sign that we should go to Earth Temple.
Actually, wait, hold on. Let's go decipher some shards first so we don't waste money. Or I guess, like, buy something from Beetle's shop, but I think deciphering the charts will probably be more important, ultimately. Ow. Well, yeah, okay, I guess we're wasting that money. Deciphered. Now let's get another chart deciphered. I guess maybe we go to Star Isle here now since there wouldn't. Well. Nah, Star Isle's kind of far away. So logically, I can't do all of Earth's Temple until I have three small keys, um, but I know how to skip one, so it's not really going to be a huge issue. I do also have the big key, so I don't have to worry about like needing to do boss key skip or anything. Maybe we'll actually find some swords. That would be crazy. You also kind of want to beat these moblins just so that uh, we get some skull necklaces. Okay, I have 17. Stalfos mini boss. Should have, yeah, a lot of shoe jellies in it.
But we still need 15 green chew jelly as well. Also, the 15 blue chew jelly check has also been in logic for a really long time. Which is kind of scary to think about. Let's wait first. Now we really don't have to worry about wasting money. small key here, and the other small key later on. I guess I don't really need medley. Oh wait, I can't do the thing I normally do here. picked up medley. Not necessary from this point. Keep on forgetting like how I I can't just use the swing from the skull hammer to pick stuff up. Like, that just doesn't work here. Three blocks room. use the small key on that door. So we instead want to go out of bounds. Yeah, sure, I'll take the door.
We're still gonna have to orphan the Tingle chest, basically, but that should be the only thing we orphan, I think. I think we should be able to do everything else. Unless, like, this is bombs right here. Oh no, we finally found a sword! <laughs> the Earth Temple mini-boss, which wasn't even in logic, technically. It only... That can only be in logic with three Earth Temple small keys. But after four hours, we finally have a sword. Hopefully it doesn't take four hours to find the next one. Kind of just go through the rest of Earth Temples normally. All right, I have a sword now. I can just do this. <laughs> <coughs> oh my goodness. save any time trying to side hop there. These two checks in this room are in logic, but everything else in Earth Temple is basically not in logic. All-purpose bait. How lovely. and only that floor master will try to attack you immediately or like try to grab you immediately upon being within range whereas the other ones do this like get up animation first Trick of the re 
good there. Another joy pen. Right. Man, not having the grappling hook really sucks at this point. <laughs> We also still need light arrows, but light arrows won't help with a whole lot at this point. Uh, oh right, I yeah, I, I can't make that go away. But, uh, go back through the temple normally. Get back here, which is fine. We went through it normally anyway. This chest, and then we got this chest a little further over to the right. We have the wall. a lot of pieces of heart behind, like, treasure charts. Right, Stalfos Crypt Room. The Forbidden Woods Compass. Now we're talking. Okay, at this point, like, more than a third of the remaining locations locked behind grappling hook logically. So we're really running out of locations to find the grappling hook.
I need a dark down one on one here. Is uh, I don't know why I wasn't doing this. <laughs> Oh, wait, I, I keep on forgetting I have the sword, but I haven't had it for four hours, so I'm not used to it still. at any of the 49 uh, chart salvaging locations, of course. in Forbidden Woods. Tingle chest or bot or big key chest. It can't be. Um, it, it could be in Forsaken Fortress. I think that's mostly it. So yeah, I think that is like. You know, and the. Um, two locations at Forest Haven. Which is like 70 checks, I think, ish. Because we have 49 plus all of Forbidden Woods is 16, is 65. And then plus those few that are scattered around is like 70. Almost half of the remaining locations are blocked. Um, now Jahala is going to be a pain. With a single sword. Almost half of the locations are blocked logically by grappling hook at this point. And I don't have bombs either. Wait, I do have hurricane spin though. Oh, I guess that doesn't help a whole lot, huh? Because we have to do two spin attacks per Poe with the hero's sword. I'll probably just shoot these last two. What? Where did the light go? Oh my goodness.
Interesting Jalhala fight. Still no bombs, though. Wallet. An orange rupee. Oh, and there's all those spoils checks that require grappling hook. So yeah, we definitely more than half of the remaining locations are logically locked behind grappling hook. At this point. Go do Bomb Isle and then get the the chest that's on top of the cabana, which I think has been in logic for like three hours now. So probably be good to check that one. We also still haven't found a bottle anywhere. But the fact that there are four of them. Don't have note to mom. At least when we get note to mom, we'll be able to uh, get both of the checks associated with it, though. It's also nice to have both hook shots and uh, ice arrows here to help with the magtails. I need to, like, consciously remember that I have a sword right now. It's really weird. That's a nice purple color. Close to the edge. Ice arrows will immediately make magtails curl up like this, so useful to have. This chest up here has been in logic for a pretty long time now, but I wanted to wait until I had Grappling Hook so that I could, like, do all of the cabana at once, basically, but um, obviously that's not going to happen unless, you know, I actually get the Grappling Hook. Oh, final Tingle statue, though. Actually, uh, kind of convenient because I can now go just decipher another chart and get the ankle reward. Maybe ankle has the grappling hook. That'd be pretty funny, actually. Yep. 
guess it would kind of make sense then why all of the Tingle statues were like pretty early on in Logic, like Sphere Zero or Sphere One. Oh, oh he has another Dragon Roost Cavern small key. Well, now we can go get everything else in Dragon Roost Cavern, so maybe we should do that. Except for beating Goma and like the boss key or the big key and tingle chest. And the tingle hub room chest, but there's like four more chests I can now get. Actually, let's also just go to Star Isle right now, I think. Be a good idea. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's make sure we don't accidentally run into uh, that thing. How many blue chew do I have? Only five. Really should have been trying to collect blue chew this whole time. Because blue chew jellies are also a check that's currently in logic. I suppose we could go beat the Helmbarak King. Helmbarak King and like the rest of Forsaken Fortress is locked behind um, another sword upgrade and bombs. Though I'd like that's not too big of a deal really. Nice barrels. I guess it's kind of unnecessary at this point to collect even more Knight's Crests, or not Knight's Crests, um, Skull Necklaces. I, I could go just turn those in. can't be the uh, grappling hook though, because grappling hook is logically required to get that chick, just because of how many skull necklaces you need. I'm starting to doubt whether or not I gave Camo the full moon picture, but I'm pretty sure I gave it to him. Right. 
Come To dragon roost. We should have gone to Tower of the Gods and cleared more stuff in there before doing this. Because then I could have chained this into, like, Tower of the Gods and then going back to Dragon Roost. I wouldn't have, have to, like, gone through that sequence right there. So now that we have another small key, go through Dragon Roost backwards using the single small key to go through all the small key doors. least the chest in here under chart 15 still no grappling hook to be one of the windfall things, or Stone Watcher, I guess. Still haven't beaten Stone Watcher. I guess we'll go to Stone Watcher first. And then, I, I guess I can also do the outset check where I give Orc of the Ten Knights Chris, but that can't be Grappling Hook either. Because Grappling Hook is required to get that too. I'm very excited at the end of this seed how I'll be uh, going around, I'll be going around the ocean quadrant by quadrant salvaging up a, uh, a treasure and then just going away. <laughs> it's going to be very good. I also could go do most of the stuff in Forbidden Woods, but... It feels kind of silly to do that without both bombs and grappling hook. And I guess bombs could be in Forbidden Woods, actually. At this point, it seems like grapple definitely locks everything else. Oh. 
screwed that up. I should note that, nice. like, fire and ice arrows are logically locked nice. behind bombs still. Because we got fire and ice arrows from Jaboon's cave on outset. Like, it's just thankfully easy to clip into. This could have been a lot worse. Stone launcher. Do we have a grappling hook? We do not have a grappling hook. Stone launcher was completely unnecessary. Give the knight's crest to Orca. I guess then we might want to start collecting blue shoe jellies. Chew jellies are. Blue Choo Choo locations. I oh, what there was one on Star Isle. Fairy Islands. All oh, right, there's two on Crescent Moon. Oh, okay. There's the Master Sword, which does not immediately open anything. <laughs> Funnily enough. Oh, <laughs> nice graphical error on the sword there. It's just a hilt. Well, actually, I'm gonna go into uh, Forsaken Fortress now. actually complete it. Oh, 
But maybe we'll see if we can get the cannons to... Break open the entryway. Maybe not. Nah, well, it's fine. We will simply Wind Waker dive in. The reason I want to do it here now is because we can beat Phantom Ganon with the Master Sword, whereas beforehand we would not be able to. two more full dungeons to go through even after this. Ah, the hero's charm. Seems like a good thing to equip, if I do say so myself. We could go do withered trees now. That gives us withered trees, grandma. And uh bring the forest firefly to Lenzo. This, yeah, this, oh wait, no, I don't have bombs. Okay, never mind, storing this chest is gonna be annoying. I should have done this first if I wasn't gonna store it, but oh well. Now we won't have to guess what the item is, at least. Because ideally we store this chest and then use that chest storage to get up to Phantom Ganon. Um, or not to get up to Phantom Ganon, to get up to the Helmarok King. But not today, apparently. The wind is almost facing the right direction, but not quite. Let's 
Storing the chest is a lot faster than having to go around like this. Sharing flags. For some reason. Alright. Oh, nice. Well, blue feathers on the helm rock can look cool. Thankfully, this is one part where storage does come very in handy. He's being able to beat the Helmrock King consistently here. Perfect time to drink some more water. <sighs> Can't quite tell if it's raining outside or not. somewhere. Yeah, he must have gotten stuck somewhere. Yeah, oh well. We'll save warp and we'll try that again. Unfortunate. Well, at least it didn't happen during a tournament race. Hopefully it does not happen a second time. So usually you can like kind of see the Helmorok King in the wall a little bit if he saw flocks, but I, I couldn't see him at all there on that last one, so I'm assuming he just got, like, stuck further out somehow. There he comes. All right. The king 
The Helmorok King specifically is dead. And we've cleared for Second Fortress. Which gives us more mail to check also. Ah, nice. Bigger quiver. For those 99 arrows. Forest Firefly. And give it to Lenzo. Actually, I guess I could also just go get the check up here, too. Even though it's also, you know, something you can't normally get without the grappling hook either. do some precise Deku leafing to go get it. We can also, like, just actually straight up check what it is, I'm pretty sure. From this angle. Oh, it's the Rainbow Rupee. Let's actually go get that, because we can hold it. The Rainbow Rupee is otherwise known as Trevor in the Wind Waker randomizer racing community because, uh, you know, green Ru the Green Rupee is named Greg, may as well give the Rainbow Rupee a name also. Actually, one thing we can do um, is I can save warp here. If the Lenzo Forest Firefly check is, like, garbage, then I can just return here and do uh, Withered Trees, I guess. I should have checked the mail. Need to fast forward a bit to actually get the nail checks. Here is your firefly, sir. Actually, I'm kind of in a convenient place to go to Crescent Moon. Yeah, I guess we'll, we'll do that. Plus, the money is helpful. Uh, there was something... Oh, right, I wanted to try doing Linda and Anton again. I don't know if I'm, like, taking bad pictures or something, but Lin or Anton does not seem to respond to my photos of Linda. He doesn't give the indication for the text that he should be giving. Oh, wait. Okay, never mind. Seems like we did the thing correctly. Okay. I don't know when that happened, but sure. I always forget what, what the actual trigger for that is. Here. 
this is grappling hook, then uh, I will have wasted probably a lot of time. Okay, well, it's not grappling hook. Means it's probably 15 blue chew jellies at this point. I mean, I don't have bombs, so... All the stuff I did in Forsaken Fortress, like, every, anything with a bottle is out of logic currently. I don't have a first part container, though. That's nice. It has to be blue chew jelly at this point, I'm pretty sure. Unless I forgot something, in which case we have much bigger problems. But hopefully I did not forget anything, and it's just blue chew jelly. I think I currently have five, yeah, so let's see. After Crescent Moon... There's two on Crescent Moon. We got the one on paw print. I can go to Spectacle and Northern Fairy, I guess, are two options. I could also just go to Forbidden Woods and skip the grapple check stuff for now, but I don't know. Spectacle and Northern Fairy will make numbers 8 and 9. I got the one on Tingle Island already. Uh, I have to make sure I don't run into the big Octo here. I should run into it. Western... There's one on Rock Spire. I think the only fairy fountain, or the fairy island blue chew I got was Thorn Fairy. And that was pretty much it. Wait, is the... Yeah, there it is. I guess this is a bit of an unoptimal path, but no well. Yeah, we could do Rock Spire and then Western Fairy. Needle Rock, Stone Watcher. rocks. Yeah, okay. Yes, yeah, so that's nine. Okay, goodbye, mini blends. <laughs> will make 
10. I could go to Southern Ferry. I could warp to Southern Ferry for a quick one. Combine. Oh, I, I should have tried to combine this with withered trees. Okay, I guess I'll just do that now then. Because then I can get the eastern fairy one and the cliff plateau one while combining it with uh, this. The king of red lions isn't in the way. Okay. And I can get the Needle Rock one and the Shark Isle one, and yeah, we can just combine it that way. That's much more efficient. Alright, so first we will go to Cliff Plateau. I can't get the one at Bird's Peak right now. It's fine. Thankfully, there are 23 islands, according to this guide, that have blue shoe jelly. sometimes just don't appear. pick up the jute jelly. There we go. Right, now let's sail on over to the cabana. Actually, I guess we could have saved some forest water time by sailing, or by warping the forest haven first, but oh well. not a huge deal. We'll probably still make the 20 minutes. And after this, we'll warp to Southern Ferry, sail to Shark, and then sail from Shark to Needle Rock. Shoe jelly here. I don't recall seeing one in the guide. Thank you. 
that uh, Isles give away. Should be one here somewhere. Thirteen Needle Rock will be fourteen, and then Eastern Ferry will be fifteen. So that should be good. It's gonna be a while till we actually get another check, but <laughs> once we actually finish this, we'll have two of the longest checks in the run, uh, all nice and done. Of course, if Withered Trees isn't actually a useful item. I and mean, I guess it could work out logically that Blue Chew Jelly check is bombs and then Withered Trees is Grappling Hook, in which case this is pretty good, I think. Eh, yeah, let's... Great fish. Wait, I, I didn't get the Blue Chew Jelly. Okay, whatever. Oh wait, I already got the one here on Needle Rock. Okay, well. So one on Great Fish. Not seem like there is. Back to great fish. I feel like I'm surprised there's no blue chew on great fish. I feel like I remember there being a blue chew there at some point, but evidently that's not the case. Uh, guess I could go get the one at Western Ferry while I sail northwards. Is it still twelve? Yeah, it's still twelve. Oh, nice. Good pop-up. We got plenty of time left. I guess there's one on Rock Spire we can go get. And I can also do the Rock Spire cave while I'm here, because it is possible to get to the cave with, like, good loot pumping. <coughs> Buy one of these 
these items here. Uh, this is the most important one, probably. at the wind direction. Last Triforce chart? I feel like it's either that was the last one or I have one more that I have to get. Okay, so. Rock Spire Cave. I've gone quite a long time without checking any locations, aside from like the one that we just checked. We're doing these really slow checks all at the same time. Eastern Fairy Island. Warp here. Where we can also get our last blue chew jelly. Save because sometimes the game 
I've, I've had more than one experience where the game crashes when trying to, uh... Okay, well, I don't think this is gonna work because the camera's weird. Oh, okay, this is just a weird camera angle. Thankfully, the game did not crash this time. Now, oh, nice second bottle. Should be 15, yep. How many green ones do I have? Only 10, darn. Would have been convenient to go in there with both 15 green and 15 blue, but I'd rather not delay the inevitable any longer. Come back later. going to be grappling hook or bombs. Or maybe it's note to mom for all I know. I guess it could be a bottle and then logically your first bottle is this one. In which case one of them would be on grandma. Okay, no, there we go. <laughs> There's bombs. Okay. small key that we're not going to need. Alright, uh, let's go full clear Tower of the Gods. Now we can start eliminating some checks. And getting those blue rupees. And the Forbidden Woods dungeon map. All very important items, of course. Nobody can survive without the Forbidden Woods dungeon map. Or the Tower of the Gods dungeon map, for that matter. I'm pretty sure we got the Forbidden Woods Compass at some point, so I'll mark that off on the tracker.
It's a nice color for the Beemos. We also still need two sword upgrades, the light arrows. We need the note to mom, but I don't know where. Finally, make tingle chests appear. Which is sure nine. Yeah, there's also a free rupee you can make appear here. We're at 50 rupees. Tower of the Gods, of course, kind of not particularly exciting from a speedrun standpoint, because there's not a lot you can really do to speed it up. And there's a lot of cutscenes that you have to go through. Stone Tablet, Mini Boss, Second Chest, Guarded by Armos Knights, Floating Platforms, Top of Floating Platforms, and then Big Key and Golden Heart Container. yet. Link turned around too quickly. Uh, yeah, I have 
I should have backed up before trying to go forward there. Took a little longer than I would have liked, but... We also, st we also still need five pieces of the Triforce. We haven't found a piece of the Triforce in like three hours. <laughs> I guess we know where one is, because we know that one is inside of uh, Beetle's ship shop for like 900 rupees. next three checks are the last... Only these next three checks are the last ones we can get here, because logically we need two Tower of the Gods small keys before we can get the last two checks, but... We can thankfully skip the first small key usage pretty easily. Goodness, after almost five and a half hours, the grappling hook has finally been uncovered. Yep. Huzzah! Everything is in logic now. There are no doubts about what we can do. <laughs> I definitely could have gotten that a really long time ago. <laughs> if I had done Tower of the Gods out of logic. My count's at 16-7, okay. Now I have to see um, how many charts I have when I get out of here and start salvaging things up. Almost half of the locations that are left are just salvaging things. I guess I could go to Forbidden Woods first. I, I could clear out the rest of the dungeons to see which, like, you know, which one of them have treasure and Triforce charts and also, you know, hopefully, like, get more money for deciphering the rest of the Triforce charts and then go on our, our Grand Ocean Salvaging Tour. Yeah! 
Oh, I think I had to change it up. Also, yeah, because if I I want to go into Forbidden Woods to farm green choo choo and golden feathers, those two other checks. at the end of the dungeon here. Also, there's a joy pendant uh, at the end here that I can get. Equip over the berry. Make sure I don't accidentally use it. Hey, an actual heart container. How about that? to the Forbidden Woods. I 
Actually, I think I'll get the chest that's outside of here first. And I still need to collect. Was it four heart containers? Like twenty four pieces of heart or something. That's a lot of stuff. Okay, time to get all the checks in Forbidden Woods. Even though we're out of the Forbidden Woods boss key, we can pretty easily use chest storage to get through there, so I'm not too worried. Convenient. It is not the right way to go for this. feathers. I'm not going to do the chest storage route because I do have the small key here and I'd rather just not have to guess what I opened up in these chests. Even if it was just money. I guess we wouldn't really have to guess that though because the game would just kind of tell us if it was that. Oh god, the 
this way first. Earth Temple Compass. Wow, the third highway pair. I didn't think there were that many in the item pool. Eight more golden feathers. Nice arrows for this. Alright, we finally have ten hearts. After five and a half hours. Reload the room for the final ones that we need. And go up and get this one. Ah, all right. Too much speed. So to get to this chest immediately, and it rises up high enough. Yo, the one Boko Baba seed. Now we're talking. We missed that first one. Nice. 
I could have just used the hook shot here, but oh well. Another skull necklace that will go unused. seen one of those in a while. Treasure chart 38. clips that we don't have to uh, do like the river cruise with the flower. Using the flower is really slow. And great fairy charts. Then button. Or bomb then A. A few more boomerang throws than I had hoped for. Hey, my car is blue. Oh, so it's probably beginning to get dark in here. Turn a light on.
one letter. Mm, okay. We have 47 shards. Hmm. Actually, let's wait. Let's see if we can get 48 and 49, and then I won't have to worry about, um... I won't have to worry about marking off which ones we actually have or not. Actually, I guess, are there any... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we do have all the Triforce charts. How many of them are undeciphered? One, two, three. Okay, so four of them are undeciphered, which is approximately 16, a little bit less than 1,600 rupees. So if we get another silver, that'll be enough to decipher the rest of them. I also need somewhere to um, farm joy pendants now. Let's see, we'll go deliver the fairy to Grandma. Should have gone to private oasis after that. Oh well. I wanna I'm supposed to go back to Dragon Roost. Oops. Oh well. I'll take this opportunity to go back to Earth Temple and Wind Temple and get those two tingled chests there. Healing Grandma. <coughs> and getting the mail. Let's see, so Reef, Reef, Oxpire. We gave Hoskit 20 golden feathers to give to his girlfriend so she could give one back to us. Very good. I guess we should just start opening them now. And if we come across an island where we don't have it, then well. Okay, so we're missing 22, I think. Treasure chart 22. And 30.
Or maybe it was 30 and 42? I don't know, this is one. So let's go back here and get the one that's here at outset. Nice environment change. <coughs> say that we have all of the island's treasure charts. Basically means we can do everything on every island now, <laughs> aside from the two charts that we don't have, which I'm just not gonna bother to figure out. So Headstone Isle is the first one that's actually cleared. This is exciting. chest if it's I mean regardless of what it is we'll just save warp after getting it and then take the warp pot to wind temple to get the wind temple tingle chest and then I guess we'll go back to dragon roost to finish the rest of dragon roost cavern oh wait no there hold on there is no there, there's no treasure chart 42, it only goes up to 41, because 41 plus 8 Triforce charms is the amount that is 49, so I don't know why I thought there was a 40 second one. Temple done. This one's useless, I'm just gonna reset without saving, and we'll continue onwards. Eh, fine, we'll keep it. I don't think- I'm pretty sure that's technically not required for the 100% definition, but... Get it anyway. seeing Gale Isle. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's been there. Isn't this exciting? <laughs> I 
All right, onwards to the next one. Actually, once I have 1,600 rupees, I should go decipher the last four Triforce charts. Because right now there's technically six locations, or six salvageable locations we can't get to because of that. The last Earth Temple Smoke Key. Let's see, here we'll get the sunken treasure first, and then we'll go tame the big octo. Actually, I think, I think the big octo's closer. Yeah, I think so. I hope we don't run out of bombs, I guess. So once we find the next piece of the Triforce... We do technically have the ability to go to high roll once I buy the one from Beetle as well. Looks like one of the locations that I haven't opened yet. I'm very excited to do this for like the next hour. And there's a heart container. Still looking out for that next rupee so that I can just make my way over to Tingle Isle. Actually, I guess I could just do this should be like a red or purple ruby or something. <coughs> this isn't an actual check, this is just like a random shine in the ocean. purple, because some of them are purple and some of them are red, so... And I, I don't remember which is which. I just know that there's one near Windfall, which is purple, and that's about all I know. God's Compass. Rocks. 
I know we definitely have Bird's Peak. I don't know if we have Thorn Fairy. Thorn Fairy might might be one of the missing ones. Bird's Peak Rock should definitely be one. Yep. I don't remember if I saw a cliff plateau or not. Three of the ones that we missed so far. That we just simply don't have yet. We do have five eye. To the boating course. I think it, uh, I'm just gonna sail around the entire ocean right now, basically. More or less. sail pumping for a little bit. So as to not get my hands tired. Yeah, it's not particularly surprising that we're getting a lot of pieces of heart, though. Because... The randomizer tries its best to make sure that treasure charts aren't locked behind other treasure charts so that you don't have to go through, like, treasure chart chains, which get can get annoying pretty quickly. So... Treasure charts, at least when treasure charts are in logic, will generally get placed earlier in the seed. Island. Which is also a reef, so we'll have to get our bombs out.
Also a good opportunity to refill my bombs. I think this is it. It's somewhere back here. It's not a purple or red rupee, it's definitely the correct one. Actually, just this one doesn't have barrels. Really, no bomb drops. All right, well, we tried. did headstone, so I guess we'll just warp to outset, I think, and then go up the western side of the ocean. Definitely remember that I saw horseshoe in the ones that we opened up. left without me. I was trying to escape the wrath of the sea hat, but alas, it did not work. Right, so here we have another big octo. We only have 13 bombs, so... And there will be a, a golden gunboat that we'll have to hit later, so I'll, I'll need to keep at least three of the bombs. Uh, from this next encounter.
Nice boomerang. We also still need the bigger bomb bag. That would be really good to find right now, because that would mean I won't have to really go hunting for more bombs. Oh, that was the note to mom. I should get a bomb drop here from, like, the golden gunboat, but... I don't know if it'll be enough for the reef. Actually, we'll probably put this in the treasure first. Yeah, at least it's on a convenient side. Yeah, there it goes. It's like, this is taking a while. <laughs> Shoot the orb and um, shoot the orb to break it open, then get out of the boat and hopefully collect all the stuff, specifically the bomb drop. Oh, there's another art container. 15 hearts. I guess I could defeat these fellas. I think they should drop uh, stuff. Yeah. miss. Actually, I guess since this is a randomizer, I should really be using the boomerang phase. say that and then I fail to target it. Alright, the three I chest. It's not the right direction for the King Red Lions to be facing. Oh wait, I'm to go back over here. It was like around here.
All right, and the salvage grind continues. As soon as the water level rises up. Which it's not going to. Okay. I'm actually kind of surprised that that worked, but we'll take it. Oh, the light arrows. We did need those, so good that we found them. 25 bombs. Well, it might make big octos easier now, if I can just shoot a light arrow at each eye. What did we find? Fire arrows? Like, five hours ago? So, it's been a good long while since we found the last bow upgrade. After this one, um, I'm going to warp to Tingle Isle, decipher the rest of the Triforce charts, and then we'll continue onwards by warping back to Forsaken Fortress, I think is, is the plan here. Before I reach might be one of the ones. Oh no, it's not. Okay. Really, I didn't release the Z button in time. Initial direction. Oh, well, no, it's just over here. Oh, we finally got more money. Alright. 
to Tingle Isle. I guess we can also get the sunken treasure and big octo that's here. And then, uh... Actually, let me look at... It's geometrically. Uh, okay, I, sh I should actually go to Spectacle and Northern Ferry. I think. Oh, the plan of action. After I decipher these. I guess actually after I also mail make them along. For two more checks. And then after this, the only mail checks that are left are the guaranteed junk ones, which could still have hard containers, though. Or hard pieces. I guess also hard containers, but I think we found five of the six hard containers already. Oops. Yes. Thanks for uh, paying the delivery fee, Bido. Also, hello, uh... I forgot what the last brother's name. I know there's Tingle, Ankle, Knuckle. I don't remember what the other one is. Okay, so now we will actually have access to everyone but two of the Ocean Sector Sunken Treasures. Windfall. Alright, so we were gonna go to Spectacle right now anyway, so. Convenient. Surprised that one. And that one didn't hit the eyes. So we're missing Thorn. So Thorn Fairy and Seven Star are the ones that were like actually missing. Two sword upgrades somehow. And two bottles. And one piece of the Triforce, and then like 20 pieces of heart or something. And the Earth Temple Dungeon Map, apparently. Because, you know, that was important.
Should have all the rest of them. Second fortress. Plan is. When we go for second fortress, Star Isle, and then go all the way down south, basically. This is what the current plan is. I guess after Rockspire we'll warp to Great Fish, because it's probably faster than sailing there. But then we'll just continue going south. Um, and yeah, this should work out decently if uh, if this route is fine, we'll end up at Private Oasis. Oh, there's the third bottle. And now Star Island. getting a little aggressive there. Spire, we can get the golden, not the golden, the the south, the southern gunboat, as well as the sunken treasure. And then we still have beetles, two items there. Alright, 16 hearts. This is not the way to rock spire, this is. I guess it makes sense at this point, if two of our swords were locked behind grapple hooks, that we end up going a while without finding a sword. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. so that should be the last heart container, I'm pretty sure. Gets us to 17 hearts. So now we only need 12 more pieces of heart. pieces of heart, two sword upgrades, and a piece of the Triforce, and a bottle. I believe that's everything. Oh, okay, it's number 30. Ah, I probably should have waited until the other one was here. 
Stone fairy. Um, okay, I warped great fish. There well do I. That was pretty close. I think it was on the inside of great fish. Oh, okay, I was over here. The good one. This is a very convenient location when doing 100% speedruns. <coughs> Just because of how the routing works out. Ah, there's our biggest bomb egg. Okay. And right, yeah, we, we also needed that, I guess. Forgot about that. And then, ooh, forget about anything else. Hopefully not. I have the cabana deed. I have all the songs. Wind Temple dungeon map's not required. Okay. Island of Steel. Oh, it's on the inside. Oh no, the cannons are back. Leave me alone. Okay. Only 44 locations remaining. Ouch. At least the cannons had the decency to wait until afterwards. Shark Isle, Southern Ferry, and Ice Ringer are next. Do 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 do. I far forward enough. Okay. Probably would have been faster to warp to Southern Ferry, but I already committed to this, so this is what we're doing. It's gonna waste too much time. Still need those pieces of heart. And that second wind temple small key, apparently.
And this time we'll actually warp to Forest Haven though, because I know that's definitely faster to warp to Forest Haven than sail there, even with Swift Sail. small key. We'll go to Cliff Plateau and then cut diagonally over to Bomb Isle. And then I think after that we'll actually go to Private Oasis. I think that is the play here. Because then we'll end up at Dragon Roost last so that we can go north afterwards. we're getting money for the uh, stuff we have to buy at the end. Oh yeah, I guess Beetle has one of those heart pieces, actually, that I'm remembering. So I need 11 more pieces of heart and then put one on Beetle. And then one piece of the Triforce and the last one on Beetle. treasure do the main island and then get Octo? Something like that. Really? Ah, yeah, I'll probably get the second treasure after and do this first since we're coming in from this angle. stayed up there. I can't believe the rupees would do this. Really? Nice. Good rat. Stole like 60 of my rupees. Stop losing rupees, please. Thank you. Alright. Here we can do the 
funny hookshot stuff to just hookshot our way through the wall. Two pieces of iron in Cabana. It will be somewhere out in the other part of the quadrant. Eight-Eye Octo. <laughs> this could potentially have the last treasure chart. to Southern Triangle and Stone Watcher. for this if it looks like I'm gonna get owned. Magic Armor is very helpful here. gunboat. Okay. Alright, we've almost salvaged up all the sunken treasure. There's still... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 13 sunken treasure spots left. Oh wait, I also need to say that I need sword upgrade. That's great fish. Cyclops Reef 1 is over there. And we'll get the treasure first and then worry about beating the gunboats. Okay, it's 
worried that might have been a pot, but thankfully it's not. Should just be the gunboat left. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Turn around, change the wind direction. Water level to rise up. Except it's not high enough because cool game. Uh, water level, please. Okay, surely on this next oscillation it'll be high enough. And it was not. Am I all the way. Yeah, I'm all the way in the corner. Getting unlucky with this. Come on. Might have been high enough if I was like actually aiming at a good spot. Oof! Come on! I want to have to go do this the other way. Yeah, that's what I was going to. Okay. I don't think I've ever lost this much time to the wave oscillation here. Usually, I get it in like three or four attempts, or like three or four waves. Really, that wasn't enough. Okay, this next one should definitely be enough. Oh no, hey, too low. Okay, this time for sure. Oh, there we go. What? Oh, it got shot, okay. I thought that me hookshotting the... pole somehow killed the sea hat and was very confused for a moment. Enough time wasted to that. Oh boy, the fourth highway pair of the day. I love getting so many highway pairs. This reef is like an actual battlefield. Oh. Less than 30 locations remaining. Of course, two of those are Savage Labyrinth, so... Interpret that as you will. Okay. I'll just use bombs for this one. Thank you. 
Uh, we'll actually go with this direction of wind. Oh man, look how easy that was. Much better than Cyclops Reef. Oh, there's the green rupee. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, the, the green rupee had to be somewhere. Seven more pieces of heart. We also need like 300 more rupees to buy the beetle stuff. If we do get those 300 rupees though, that'll actually be pretty nice and it'll mean that we don't have to farm for any rupees. Which means that our rupee management ended up being pretty good, uh, if that's the case. I think the... I forget what times me and Link has gotten the previous races. I remember the first one was like eight and a half hours or something ridiculous like that. Um, I want to say the second one I got at 7.55. Like an hour from now. Is when I finished, so... If we, if we can find the rest of these hard pieces, then... Uh, we'll probably be looking pretty good. Because we know that Savage Labyrinth doesn't have any required items. Neither does uh, any of the junk locations, of course, so if, the, if all the hard pieces are found before then, then that'll be good. Very... There we go. There. 
hoping for a little bit of a stall in the middle there. West to Eastern Ferry. That's a sentence. And then West to Northern Triangle. Or wait, no, we, we need to get this. We want to get this one first. Definitely do not want to forget about a sunken treasure somewhere. That could potentially be very bad. Ugh, oh boy. Last Dragon Roost Cavern Smokey. Alright, Dragon Roost Cavern is now in logic. That's not the right direction. The end of Dragon Roost Cavern is in logic, I should say, actually. Good. That's nice. We're not going to have to do any rupee farming. So once we get once we go back to Windfall, we'll do the 15 green shoe jelly and also the sunken treasure. I don't think um, I have enough uh, joy pendants to get this berry. I'll probably just farm like 20 times in Dragon Roost Cavern and check these two afterwards. Chew Jelly Shop is full. I guess maybe we'll just go to Rock Spire now since we have the money already. Or no, we we should go to Popper and then go to Rock Spire. Okay. So we 
just warp to Dragon Roost directly afterwards. In Popprint, we also have the Popprint Island Scale the Wall location that we can get now. In the Choo Choo Cave. location earlier, but it wouldn't have been very easy to do. And it wouldn't have saved any time anyway, so... Now we do have all 49 treasure shirts. faster to open it up. Go this way. I guess maybe not because it's number 22. to finish off Dragon Roost Cavern. And also farm uh, 20 Joy Pendants or something ridiculous. Actually, well, actually, no, I get the, better to get the Dragon Roost Island sunken treasure after this. Got a 
wait for the platform to come back down. Use the grappling hook to get into this place that you can't get into without it. First we got the tingle chest and the big key chest. Alright, there we go. Just four more pieces. Oh, okay. Kind of surprised Link actually grabbed on successfully from that angle, but we'll take it. Twenty-three. All right, time to get eighteen more. Twenty-four. Ouch. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Seven. Tingle chest in the hub room. This is a very nice camera angle that makes it barely visible to see the chest appearing. Alright. Just three more of those. like we might have to do one of the really long checks at this point. Unless we get really lucky at the end here. Oh, 
Because we do still have to find um, the last piece of the Triforce and the last sword upgrade. Which I guess those we will be guaranteed to find pretty soon. We also know that they're not at the end of Savage Labyrinth. Though we have to find those within the next... We have to find both of those within the next five checks. Basically. But that only leaves three more checks that aren't the Junk Checks or Savage Labyrinth for the heart pieces. That we need. Ouch. And then there's Ganon's Tower Maze Chest, which is a fourth. Uh, only one of the checks from here to Ganon's Tower Maze can be, like, actual junk for the 100% category. We want to not have to do any of the stupid locations. And Gomen's dead, at least. It's an interesting green glow. Oh, Knight's Crest. That's not good. <laughs> get. The dragon roost, well, yeah, the dragon roost one is back here. Then we just gotta sail north to Seven Star for the very last sunken treasure. Then we go to Windfall for the last two checks. Um, Miss Marie. Okay, there's the last sword. So now we can break the barrier, but with one of these last three checks, we have to get the. Uh, oh, what's it called? We have to get, um... The piece of the Triforce. Alright, nine locations remaining. Of which it's gonna take us like an hour to get through all of them if we go for all of them. Okay. Interesting that the last that is I don't know if that's the vanilla place for that piece, but this is normally a vanilla like this this check is normally a Triforce shard in the game, so that's funny. Granted there are eight of them, so the chance of one being vanilla is not that crazy, I don't think, if uh Sunken Treasure is on. So two swords were locked by Grappling Hook. I forget where we got our second one. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't remember. I want to say it was Mafia Mini Boss, but that also somehow sounds wrong. Okay, so... Uh, hopefully this is a hard piece. Fortunate. Okay, so I'm going to check Hyrule and Ganon's Tower Maze Chest first. And then... Still need three more hard pieces, so at least one is going to be in a stupid location. Unfortunately. 
but then at least we'll have the Ganon's Tower portal open. So we can go back easily once uh, we find the rest of the hard pieces. Why couldn't they have? Why couldn't have all the stupid places just been rupees? This would have made this run almost over by now, actually. <laughs> well, at least we finally get to use the light arrows. Cool-looking, mighty dark nuts. Okay, two hard pieces are in stupid locations. Again in the tower we go. See what if there are three of them in dumb locations, I think I'll start with the Beetle membership reward stuff. I think that would make the most sense. There no maybe actually I think it would make more sense to start with Savage Labyrinths so that I don't run out of rupees doing that. That is the case, because I would have to farm rupees anyway somewhere. I don't know why I went back for that. Also we turn off the trials door because we would just do trial skip anyway. of 10, I should be okay. Oh, he actually hit it back at me. I don't do any damage. I feel like... I thought the ball normally does two hearts. 
Okay, 300 locations checked. Okay, good. <laughs> Only two hard pieces are in stupid locations. We'll just defeat Phantom Ganon now, anyway. I think we can buy 10 arrows for 10 rupees, or maybe it's 30 arrows for 10 rupees or something like that. Gotta use the root or use the arrows. Not light arrows, presumably. Wait for the light arrow to lead the quadrant now. I'm gonna put this on a different button. I'm mashing with my index finger. As you can see, this is the peak of Wind Waker gameplay. This was absolutely the intended way of playing the game. get to 98 and then buy 10 more arrows to reach 99. It's always the heart pieces, man, in these races. <laughs> I'm just gonna go straight to 50 for like both membership rewards because even if I get a heart piece on the first one, I'm still gonna go for the second one. So 
Two more sets. I think these are probably the two fastest checks to get in this situation, though. If only one of these is a heart piece, though, then I'm gonna have to, like, gamble between Savage Labyrinth and Orca. I guess this time I only need to go down to like 20. I guess I could also buy more bait, maybe. Actually, I should only need to go down to 38, I think, if my math is correct. or is it 60? Uh, whatever. We'll get the first one. I know the first one is 30. I thought the next one was 50. But maybe it's 60. If that's the case, then I definitely don't have enough money. Silver membership reward, unfortunately, was not it. No, we don't come back. I guess if, if this isn't a hard piece, it's kind of a no-brainer to just go to Savage Labyrinth, then. 
Because at least one of the heart pieces will be there. In that case. I see. Just enough rupees. Okay, so we did have to do all of that nonsense. <laughs> Okay, um, I think I'll just go for Savage Labyrinth and hopefully won't have to hit Orca a million times. Even though obviously doing all of Savage Labyrinth and it not being Savage Labyrinth is a huge waste of time. Same would be true for Orca, so. And Savage Labyrinth is at least interesting. As we'll use some soup here as well. All the possible tools we could need for Savage Labyrinth. So for Savage Labyrinth, there's one reward on floor 30 and one reward on floor 50. Maybe that's where I got confused with the Beetle membership, because that's kind of what it is for Savage Labyrinth. 30 and 50, not 30 and 60. And each of the 10 section, each of the 10 floor sections of Savage Labyrinth is based off of uh, a specific dungeon. So, first 10 floors are Dragon Beast Cavern, and then we go to Forbidden Woods, then Tower of the Gods, sort of. And then Earth Temple and Wind Temple. If we're lucky, we'll only have to go through 30 floors, and then that'll be that. Ah, rip. There goes my double damage. This floor we could technically skip because of the torches around the hole, but I don't really consider it worth it right now. Ah, I don't need rupees or <laughs> hearts, so we're just gonna skip all those pots. enemies. The 
pea hats, the Boko Babas, the green Bacoblins. Peace, which is nice. Kind of expecting that middle shot to get both of the middle Mothulas, because the last one you want to freeze since the death animation from a freeze is shorter. One thing in Boomerang is on X when it is not on X. Eventually, I will stop coughing. Ah. No, we don't need to pick him up. I like how throwing the frozen Mothula damages Link because of where the hitbox is. And now we get to the floors that we can just kind of skip, so... Yay. All these floors have torches around them. Makes for a very convenient skipping. Especially with this uh, setup that Trog found a really long time ago. That's pretty lenient for being able to do the floor skips. Before this setup, I think this setup was like 2015 or something, the floor skips in here were a bit messy. They're a lot easier in HD with you have gyro controls, you can kind of just YOLO them and it works fine, but okay, let's see if we can get the assist. If Coven hits you in the right way there, then it's a little bit easier to do the skip, actually, because you have a lot of time to line up. Hopefully this will be the last floor that I have to do. If not, then well, here's to 20 more floors. 10 of which will be skipped, because they also have... Well, actually, not, probably not all of them, because some of the really last ones are really stupid to try and skip. Even with the torches, just because of how the enemies are laid out in the room. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> that is 20 hearts. Whew, okay. Now I just have to go beat the Ganondorf. And also Puppet Ganon, but more importantly, Ganondorf. 
We have biggest bomb bag, biggest quiver, biggest wallet. Magic meter upgrade, hurricane spin, ghost ship shard. 20 hearts. A fully powered up master sword, the entire Triforce. Uh, the swift sail, which we started with. All the songs, all four bottles, the pearls. All the items on the equipment screen and upgrades. I'm pretty sure. Special charts are not required by the definition, so if we don't have all of those, that's, like, not an issue. I believe that's everything. I don't know why I got that magic when I have full magic. Okay, so this should be my fastest one of these yet, I think. I think my last one was 755, and this should definitely be 755. Let's see what Puppet Ganon has to offer us. Good first shot. Second shot. Oh. Oh, really? That missed? Alright, well. Okay. Good enough. So yeah, if... If Linkus beats me, it will be a very close race. By the standards of having to get everything. <laughs> Let's see if we can get the double or the crip shot here. I should really learn to triple there sometime. Ah, yes. I definitely needed more arrows there. Thank you, game. Make him calm down. Uh, well, not. Well, I guess the, the end of the third phase was a little rough, but other than that, it was a pretty decent propaganda fight. Pretty confident I have everything. I don't think I missed anything. I'm sure, if I have missed something, chat will yell at me when I finish and turn chat back on.
A little too close to Ganondorf there. Forty-eight thirty-ish. Poof. Okay, now let's open chat and see if I missed anything. Hello, chat. I don't seem to have missed anything. This chat is not yelling at me that I missed something. Thank you guys very much for the GG's. I mean, I can generally still play video games when I'm sick. Unless the sickness is, like, depriving me of all my energy. Which only happened yesterday. So thank you very much, Cloverfield, for the three tier one gift subs to the community. Why did I do this? Um, this is just a thing that me and Linkus occasionally do. Uh, my last two checks were just Savage Labyrinth 50 and Orca... I uh, hit 500 times. Also, thank you very much, Storm Mystic, for the 12 months of Tier 1. Thank you very much for the continued support. Also, thank you very much, Vigiman, for the 2 months of Tier 1. And thank you very much, Zopied, for the 34 months of Prime. for the generous continued support. Oh, it can't even be a hard piece? I mean, I guess that would make sense. Yes, and it's a good two to four weeks of sleeping material. Yeah, Floor 30, um, Savage Labyrinth was the last piece of heart. How long did I expect this to take? Uh, I mean... The previous ones took about eight hours, or a little bit longer than that, so that's, that's like the expectation with these. I think about this seed. Surprisingly, the late grapple didn't seem to hinder as much, because it being able to just go between each salvage point was actually pretty quick. So the grappling hook being gone for five and a half hours wasn't uh, wasn't that bad. I don't think. Oh yeah, bombs on 15 blue shoes was, uh... Was pretty bad. I don't, I don't think I would say it was late in logic. It was, it was, I mean, 15 blue shoes is very out of the way. At least if you don't route it properly, like I didn't route it properly at all. Um, logically, I could have gotten Grappling Hook a lot earlier than I did. Not logically, I 
If I went into Tower of the Gods earlier than intended, I could have gotten it a lot earlier. But it, it wouldn't have really helped with anything that much. Uh, I don't know what a spoiler log race for this would look like. It would probably just be the same, except we would skip a bunch of checks. And yeah, routing for root like you'd you'd want to get as many rupees as possible, or you could just farm ghost ship, honestly. That's another possibility because that's what you normally do anyway. I don't know how much time you would need to actually route that, though, but you'd, you'd probably just rush most of, like, the items that allow you to do everything. Uh, I don't know if you could build an auto router. I mean, if, if you could build an auto router for rando, like, oh well, yeah, so it, it wouldn't be as good as a human, because, I mean, if, if we could make auto routers, people would have probably made them for regular speed games already. because it's, it's, it's just way too complex of a problem. Anyway, um... I think that's going to be it for me. Um... for today, because it's been eight hours, and I would like to eat food that is not cookies, so. <laughs> Cringe, not doing another one. Yeah, let's, let's just do another one, make it a 16-hour stream. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow is Friday, so there is no stream, um, but on Saturday, we will finally get back to doing Skyward Sword HD any percent attempts. Um, I don't know if I'll actually practice before then, because it'll probably be it'll probably be better for PB mentality to just go in without really practicing all that much. Um. So, yeah. Hope to see you guys all on uh, Saturday, and yeah. I would recommend going watch Link is Finished because uh, I believe he still has two heart pieces to find. So, with that in mind, I will see you guys all later. Bye-bye.